Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Yingling lesson number 19. There is, there are, some and any. Here we go. All right, have a look at this room. It is a messy room. There are many things on the floor. Uh-oh. We're going to learn how to talk about the things that are in the room. So, here's a simple question. What is in the picture? This is is going to be a little bit longer now. What is there in the picture? And we'll make that sentence even shorter. What is there? Now we're going to turn those around. What is there changes to simply there is. So I can make a sentence now starting with there is and then something in the room. We use this talking about one thing to begin with. So let's go ahead and have a look. Uh, what's this? Uh-huh. There is a newspaper. Next. Over here. Mm-hmm. What do we say? There is a TV. One more thing. Aw. There is a teddy bear. Okay. Good job. Now let's talk about things that are not in the room. Uh, do you see a chair? No chair. So we can say, there isn't a chair. Another thing that's not in the room? A piano. No piano here. There isn't a piano. Okay, so do remember, we use, one, we use there is for only one thing. We change it around now to make questions. Here we go. Is there a piano? We could say, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Let's practice that. <laughs> is there a computer? Look over here. Uh-huh. Yes, there is. Another question. Is there a dog? A dog? No. There is a cat, but there isn't a dog. So is there a dog? Our answer. No, there isn't. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to talk about uncountables and many things. There's a small difference here. So first of all, let's put our sentence. There is, jump, jump, jump. There isn't, jump, jump, jump. Question, is there a piano? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. For two things or many things, we say, there are cats. There aren't any dogs. Are there any fish? Yes, there are, or no, there aren't. Notice that the first sentence in each of these is a yes sentence. The second are no sentences. There isn't or there aren't. And finally, the last ones are questions. Now, let me introduce you to the key rule. When we're saying yes to something, we add the word some. For example, there are some cookies. X any. There aren't any cookies. For questions, also any. Are there any cookies? One more time. There are some cookies. There aren't any cookies. Are there any cookies? Let's go ahead and practice. Here it is one more time. There is some there are some. There isn't any. There aren't any. Is there any? Are there any? Let's practice. Here is breakfast. Ooh, delicious. Have a look over here. I see bread. Now remember, bread is uncountable. So what are we going to say? There is some bread. Next. Milk? Do you see milk? No milk. There isn't any milk because milk is uncountable. Good job. Another question. Is there any yogurt? Answer. No, there isn't. Good job. Let's have a look again. Now we're looking at some fruit. Look at the bananas. There are many bananas. So we say there are some bananas. Next, cherries. Any cherries in the basket? Nope. So we say, there aren't any cherries. 
What about these? Uh-huh. Question. Are there any grapes? It's a question, so we say, are there any grapes? And our answer, yes, there are. Good job. Here is that rule again. Just say to yourself, some, any, any, and that is it. Great job. I know studying English is hard sometimes, but I promise there is light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks, everyone. See you next time, and bye-bye.